So, from the wash process, which is the first stage that you do on any detail, uh, this is the kind of uh, dirt that we've managed to clean from the vehicle. So, essential preparation and washing is key, because obviously you don't want to be rubbing this into the finish um, and making more damage to the car. Right, so here we have a Rolls-Royce Phantom Coupe. Not particularly dirty, but we want to keep it in best condition possible, really. Um, obviously, depending on the amount of mileage you do, where the car lives, will depend on how often you want to wash the vehicle. Um, and if you do leave it a little bit too long, contamination does start to stick to the paintwork. Um, so it's, it's key to keep on top of things, keep them nice. Uh, it saves you a lot of work down the down the road trying to re fix things that possibly couldn't have happened if you'd uh, washed it a little bit more often. Um, tree zap and road tar is a big problem obviously from here down kicking up from the road from the tyres and also we can't forget the, the door shuts. A lot of people forget the door shuts especially underneath here uh, where dirt can build up quite a lot. Um, just remember to do them last as well because you don't want to mark up the uh, wash poodle uh, and obviously mark any of the other surface from any grit that you may have removed from the door shut. Right, let's move on to wheel cleaning. Obviously we have brake dust, iron filings from the brake caliper obviously exposed to this beautiful wheel, so we need to rinse it off first so we can remove all the grains and granules and iron filings and bits of dirt and stone that we don't want to rub into the finish. So rinsing off carefully, make sure that you have a good sort of 10 inches away from the tyre. Don't want to obviously pierce the tyre with the, the uh, high pressure jet hose. Um, right, let's, let's move on to cleaning and rinsing it. Right, so now we've carefully rinsed the wheel off. Luckily, uh, the owner keeps very good care of this, so we don't have any embedded iron filings, luckily. If we did, we would be using the Swissfax Forte wheel uh, spray, which will dissolve all the iron filings, which turn to purple. Very effective products. Uh, but today, we don't need that. We just need a very light uh, wheel mix, uh, which is water and wheel mix in here. So let's spray this on in a second. Uh, here we have our bucket of wash solution, obviously to rinse out our, our brushes and our uh, wheel woolly. This is essential obviously for getting inside of the uh, back of the rim, which we can't reach. Uh, and obviously the Swiss Fax wheel brush for the faces. So let's just spray a bit on. Make sure you get a nice even coverage. And then just get the Swiss Fax wheel brush and very carefully give it a wipe over. Just make sure you don't miss any bits and uh, good to obviously uh, rinse out the wheel brush as you go. Same principle when you're washing the vehicle to uh, have the two bucket method as such and uh, rinse the sponge. So now it's the wheel woolly to get inside the, uh, deep inside the disc. Be very careful not to uh, obviously uh, bash the uh, brake disc and caliper. Make sure that you uh, double up and crisscross your uh, motions. I tend to usually wash a wheel twice just to overlap everywhere, just to make sure that I have got all the areas. There's nothing worse than moving your car back into the garage and, and noticing a, a part that you've missed, maybe underneath here that you can't see. Um, another way is to move the car forward so you can obviously get to the other side and see it. But yeah, these wheel wheelies are very effective. Been using these for oh, many, many years. Um, very long lasting. Um, for the sort of weekend enthusiast, these are going to last many years. They last me a year plus using every day. So you could see a, a good benefit of a few years from weekend users. I'll just give the caliper a little wipe as well with the wool woolly just to finish the wheel off. Nothing worse than a dirty caliper shining through a nice perfect wheel, especially considering they're chrome. And you can always get the brush if there's any intricate areas on the 
caliper that you need to attend to. Right, let's give that a rinse off and uh, see, see how it's looking. Hey, yeah, looking pretty clean. As you can see, the, the, the protection's holding up well on the inside from the water beading. Yep, I'm very happy with that. Super clean. So here we have Swiss Fax drying towel, which we're going to uh, very carefully dry the wheel face. If you've got a access to compressed air, this can be quite handy, obviously, to blow the water off inside. So here we have two buckets, the uh, twin uh, grit guard bucket system from Swiss Fax. Obviously, we have uh, the grit guards in the bottom where all the grit can sit underneath. This one has our wash media in and that will obviously have shampoo in, where this will have our rinse water. So once we've washed the panel, we rinse it out in here, so we're not transferring the dirt from the car back into our wash mitt, and it always remains in the dirty buckets. Right, so now we're going to move on to washing the vehicle. Obviously, we've already filled up our two-bucket method. Uh, first, the next is the rinse procedure. So, with a high power jet wash, you need to make sure that you keep the nozzle away from the tyres and at least 10 to 12 inches away from any uh, intricate bits like uh, the rubbers, uh, intricate areas like the door lock and any particular vulnerable pieces that may be uh, not really happy about having high pressure water squirted too far. So you wouldn't want it obviously that close, you need to keep it about sort of 10 to 12 inches away from lights and indicators. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with rinsing. As you can see from the beading properties on the roof here, it's very well protected already, so um, yeah, no need to wax it anymore at the moment, but maybe in six months just to uh, keep up the, the protection to its maximum. Right, so now we've rinsed the vehicle thoroughly, we can now use the uh, two bucket method with our wash poodle and lavish shampoo. Always starting from the top, work your way down, always straight lines, and obviously leaving this bit and further down to the last. If you need to use another bucket system and clean it, you can do, obviously, to do the door shuts and the wheel arches. But uh, I think this car is pretty well clean and very well protected, so we shouldn't need to do that. Right, let's get on with washing. Well, obviously our wash poodle here is exceptionally soft, so it's going to be very delicate for the paintwork. We just want to remove, with no pressure at all really, we don't need to scrub the paintwork. We just need to glide it across and let the shampoo and the suds do their work. So this is our rinse bucket. Just want to double check, make sure that there's nothing that we don't want. Nope, that's all perfectly clean. Yeah, we get a lot of bugs and tar on the uh, windshield, but uh, it's not too bad, this. So into your rinse bucket again, and back into the shampoo. See, I'm applying no pressure, hardly at all. Right, let's move on to the last bit, which is the door shuts. Obviously, you don't want too much soap and water in there because we're going to flood the interior. But you may be asking, why do we want a hand wash? Why not just take it to the automated car wash? Well, as you've probably seen, they have some very vicious and um, hard material on their uh, brushes, which go round and round and beat the car. And that's what's going to put in defects, essentially and ruin the finish and shine of the vehicle. But also they're very heavily uh, 
A lot of heavy chemicals are used in car washes just to uh, get the car clean. Not necessarily uh, going to care for the car, but just get the dirt off quick, really. Obviously, with all Swissvax products, they're biodegradable, so you wouldn't really get that at the local uh, automatic car wash, especially not for sort of two, three pounds. Right, we're going to rinse the vehicle off now. Obviously, through this is uh, zero ppm water, which is through a filter system. So you get no calcium, any water marks if you're washing outside. So obviously you can use a drying towel, or you can use uh, compressed air and, and blow the vehicle off. The uh, compressed air becomes very handy when you have the intricate bits where you need to blow water out of gaps and cracks. Right, well that's all dry now and all washed. Um, you could, in theory, now give it a clay if you required and obviously apply your favourite Swiss wax. But uh, obviously we know that this doesn't need waxing, so this is all ready to go back to the client.